In this video, we're still going to be using the law of cosines to find a missing side length. However, we're going to try to analyze this just a little bit more. The law of cosines uses three different letters. We're going to see that we're going to change the law of cosines to allow us to do something a little different in a minute in the next video. However, please understand that someone is going to give you uh, side A, side B, and angle C. The three letters are going to be different. It's entirely possible that somebody could give you side B, side C, and angle A. Or somebody could give you A, side A, side C, and angle B. So really the distinguishing characteristic of the law of cosines is that you're given three different letters and in this situation when you're given side A and B and angle C we're looking at two sides and what we call the included angle. So when you're trying to decide whether you use the law of cosines or eventually we're going to be looking at the law of sines you're going to be looking for this type of situation where somebody gives you a side and a side and the angle that's included between them that touches both of them. In geometry the word for this was side angle side. We're going to work through this fairly quickly. I'm going to call this side C. This is angle C. I could, I could label these anyway. Um, I'm going to call this angle A side A, angle B, side B. And I'm just going to use my formula. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of angle C. Again, two sides in the angle in between. We have 5 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 5 times 8 times the cosine of 56 degrees. And we know that this is going to be a positive number, that this whole um, product here is going to be something that's going to be subtracted from 5 squared plus 8 squared. And again, this is the Pythagorean theorem portion of it all. This is our modifier. And our modifier is going to make this less than 89 eventually. We do 2 times 5 times 8 times the cosine of 56. We get this is 80 and the cosine of 56 is 0.5592. I just like to break things down so that I can see this. 80 times 0.5592 gives me 44 and 74 hundredths. Doing this subtraction I get 44 and 26 hundredths and I'm going to take the square root of that to get my final answer and I get 6.7 approximately. Now I'm just going to look at this really quickly to see if it makes sense and this is how I do that. Um, basically I'm just going to go back and say if this was a 90 degree angle it would be equal to the square root of 89 if C was 90 degrees, little c would be equal to the square root of 89, or 9.4 approximately. This is less than that, and it seems like a reasonable answer. I don't have too much else that I can work on because I don't know what angle B and angle A are. Once again, if we're trying to find this missing side length here, and I'm just going to call it C, I get c squared equals a squared, and I'm just going to plug that right in. And these are the same numbers that we had in the pri prior screen. 2 times 5 times 8 times the cosine of 119 degrees. And again, this being our modifier, we know that this is now going to be a negative number because it's an obtuse angle. So this whole thing is going to be um, minus a negative, and minus a negative is going to add this value. We have the same thing that we had before, 
again the Pythagorean theorem part of it. And uh, here we've got 80 times the cosine of 119 at A, angle B, side B. And I'm going to use my formula B squared times A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of angle B. Again, two sides in the angle in between. We have B squared plus A squared minus 2 times 8 times the cosine of 3. And we know that this is going to be a positive number, that this whole um, product here is going to be something that's going to be subtracted from the squared plus a squared. And again, the Pythagorean theorem of proportion at all. This is our modifier. And our modifier is going to make this less than 89 eventually. We do 2 times 8 to the cosine of 6. We get this is 80. And the cosine of 6 is 5592. I just like to break 